Yes. For another opportunity to be able to say something about Jesus. Yes. You know, I was studying <clears throat> meditate, Brother Jim. And the Lord just kept taking me back to this. I'll just right. pray with you for a minute. Yes. I don't know if I read it here or not, but you want to write it down if you read it when you get home. Right. From Luke chapter 18. And this is Jesus telling about the parable yes. of the persistent widow. Uh -huh. Brother Jim, I've read this many times before we all have. It's very familiar scriptures. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you get, Brother Jim, and read something and it comes across in a different way when you're facing a battle or, you know, hell is raising against your mind. Yeah. There's an answer, there's a solution for everything that we go through in this Word of God. You just get it and see it. You know, I begin to think about this. Little widow woman, Brother Jim, how she was so persistent. She didn't give up on her petition that she put before this judge. He kept turning her down so many times, Brother Tanner. He just kept, every time she came, he turned her down. But she just made her mind up that I'm going back. No matter what he tells me, no doubt in her mind, Brother Jim, she already knew that the next time I go, he's going to turn me down again. But you know what? She made her mind up. But ain't nothing going to keep her from Uh -huh. 
And shall not God avenge his own elect? Which cry day and night unto him. Though he bear along with him, I tell you that he will. Yes, he will. He will avenge them speaking. Peter. Yes. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on earth? Yes, he will. Yes, he will, Brother Jim. It may seem like sometimes, Sister Pam, that our prayers have been an awful lot, and ain't going to know what little father in the city. But God has got an answer. God has got a way. His way is not my way. When I get to where I'm trying to figure it out, God's ways, that's where I'm going wrong. I've got to learn to depend on Him no matter what comes my way. Keep on keeping on whatever God has got in your life to do. Yes, let's do it with joy. Do it with gladness. I see some of our people by the tent that's hungry. Whatever your calling is, Brother Gene, whatever my calling is, let us say this, but let this sink in. It has no effect. That's just like if you hand me the keys to a new car, Brother Tanner and I never went out there and put the keys in that thing and started it up. And set it in my driveway and it rusted and it sweep it up in a pile somewhere. It never done me a bit of good because I never put it to use. That's the same way with our walk with God. Your praise is no good if you never praise Him. Think about this. Your song is no good if you don't sing your song. Your testimony, Brother Jim, is no good. The words of those testimonies is no good if you're not testifying. My ministry is no good, Brother Jim. It does nobody no good. Number one, myself. That's right. Yeah. If I don't preach what God has put in my spirit. That's right. Yeah. If we choose not to fulfill what God has put in our life, Brother Jim, He will raise somebody up because that work's not going to go void. That's right. Amen. And it don't take any glory away from Him no, because I neglect to do what God's got for me to do. Amen. I come to the privilege, Brother Jim. I never, I never thought that they would come. Honestly. That the Lord would call me to preach this gospel. But you know, the further along I get in this book, town, I'm so glad he did, Brother Jim. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad he did because it's a different way. It's a peculiar way. Proverbs 3 and 5. You might have to turn there. Bless Just give me something to put in your spirit. Trust in the Lord uh-huh. with all thine heart. All of it. And lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways. All of them. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Well, Jim, we've got to stop trying to figure this thing out on our own. That's right. That's right. Can't do it. We've got to do what God has put in our spirit to do. Because time is running out. And I'm telling you what, I, I'm going to do what the God, the God of the Lord, King of King, what he's put in my spirit to do. Brother Jim, I don't know how much time I got left on this earth. But I'll tell you one thing, what time I do got left, I'm going to give it to Jesus. I'm going to serve Him. I'm going to say I'm going to preach, I'm going to testify. When this old body tells me, Brother Jim, I'm too tired to go. When the enemy tries to give me every excuse in the world, I'm going to go on. I'm going to push past these things and do what's in my spirit because He's coming again. And I'll tell you what, it's going to mean something to be ready, Brother Jim. I hate to be caught out here in the valley of the seas and trying to make my mind up whether or not I'm going to do and fulfill what God's got in my spirit to do. Because if He finds me in the balance, I'm afraid He's going to, I'm going to be lost. That's just the bottom line. Amen. I'm either going to be on fire for Him doing what He's got for me to do. Brother Tanner, I'm going to be sitting there on the sideline somewhere. Caught in the snare of the devil. He's got many. Many. If he comes at you one way and he don't get you, don't get easy. Don't get comfortable. Don't get adjusted because he's coming back again. If he, until he finds something that affects you, he's going to continue to come back. Yes. And I, I tell you what, Brother Jim, that devil knows. We've got to remember this. The devil knows. Every 
vulnerable area in our life. Amen. Think about that. And it's different for each of us, brother. You know what? Sometimes what affects me, it might not affect you a bit. You might look back in the natural eyes and say, well, I don't understand why that's even a button here. Bless God. But you know, we're all different. We individually have to work out our own soul salvation with fear and trembling, brother Jim. Yes. Because I'm telling you right now, but they will be like nothing more. Yes, God. But to get me to close this old book, Brother Jim, right. sit on my seat and absolutely do nothing. But he can't have my praise, Brother Jim. He can't have my praise, Sister Pam. He can't have my word. The Lord give this to me. And I'm telling you what, there ain't no devil in hell on the face of this earth big enough to take it away from me. Only, only, only time the devil can take anything from me is if I lower myself down and I lie. And through either the Lord told the truth, and we know he did because he can't lie. Brother Tim, when he filled us with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he gave us power over all the powers of the enemy. And they ain't the devil in hell, Sister Amanda, upon the face of this earth, they will steal my praise. Unless I allow them. They ain't the devil in hell big enough to steal your song, to steal your joy. Unless you sat down first and out, because we have got to get our minds off of these things that's troubling us because the enemy. He's going to keep on, Brother Jim, those things on there in the kingdom. But I, we've got to make the, the devil, he's going to be there. Those problems are going to be there no matter what. We've got to make our mind up we're going to serve the Lord. If it's just me, if it's just you, if it's five of us or fifty of us. Brother Jim, I ain't basing my religion. I'm not basing my gospel that the Lord give me. I'm not basing my ministry upon the crowd because you look at the crowd where they at today. They are here running hot wild, living like care for the devil. But I'm telling you right now, God's got a few people, sister parent, that has made their mind up. They're rooted and grounded and settled in the truth of this word. And we are not for sale. It don't matter what the enemy says. It don't matter what it looks like to my natural eyes. I'm going to go on for Jesus and let this old world go on by. Because one day here after a while, it's going to wrap up. And what's going to matter is what I've done. What Brother Michael has done for Jesus. Brother Jim, we'd like to be able to do some work for some others and try to encourage them. That's all we can do. We've got to do what God has put in our spirit. Yes. Quit letting the devil wax us and whip babysit that thing that he puts on our shoulders. If you put us out there, I promise you he's going to ride. Oh, yeah. We got it. Like that old black brother sang that song, Don't Let the Devil Ride. Because, buddy, I tell you right now, if you let him ride, he might be a pastor just for a little while to make you feel like that you are in control of him. Yeah. But you're going to get comfortable one day. He's going to slip right over into that driver's seat. And you're going to be over there wondering what in the world happened. Why? You don't feel the joy anymore. Why? You don't feel like singing your song. Well, I know I'm repeating this, but we've got to get to the place where the gym and these natural things that come to us, they don't affect us anymore. Yeah, hell was raging and trying to tear down and destroy everything that God has built up within these people. But God has a people that's unmovable, unshakable, and they ain't going to give in, but the gym. The devil is coming to heat up. He's on what the devil does. But we got to do what the children of God do. we got to give it back to them. Turn this thing around. Pray your way out of your trouble. Like that little song says, I pray my way out of trouble. Oh, yes. The devil gets you down and makes you mind. Turn that good gospel music on, not gospel. Turn that good gospel music on. Turn it wide open. You didn't care what you listened to and how loud it was. We was out here living for the world, brother Jim would crank wide open there like the biggest bunch of heathens out there. We didn't care about that stuff. But it seemed like when we come to the Lord, we want to hush up. We want to hide what we got. And these four walls right here. But brother Jim, I ain't ashamed of my God. What he's done for me, where he's brought me from, brother Tim, and what I can see in a vision where he's taken. I tell you right now, I'm not giving up on my Jesus. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
It might seem like, boy, that's all I'm doing. And I'm sitting here waiting. Think about that just for a minute. Bless God. You're just sitting around waiting. That just might be a problem, Brother Tam. Right. The Lord didn't mean for us to sit down and quit and do absolutely nothing. When hell hits our mind and sickness attacks our bodies. And he didn't mean for us to crawl in the corner somewhere and die. That just might be your problem. We need to we need to go on just like there ain't nothing at all. Like there ain't nothing happening. You sing your song, you give God His praise that He's so worthy of. And one day you'll see you done shouting and praying and preached and sung your way right out of that thing that was vexing you to the point that it's almost was ready to give in. And God has got it for you, brother Tim. If we only allow him, God is a gentleman. I'm finding this out the further I go along. God absolutely ain't going to force you to do something. You've got to be willing. But I guarantee you, he'll make you wish one day that you was obedient. And you stepped on out and done what he had for you to do. Because obedience it's better than sacrifice than the book says. Brother Jim, I want to serve him because I love him. For oh, all that he's done for me. For going to Calvary over 2,000 years ago and giving his all for me. Brother Jim, I want to serve him. I want to sing my songs. Because I, there's something in those words you may not realize. Well, it's just another song. No, there's somebody out there that needs to hear that song. There's somebody out there that needs to hear just where God brought you from. Because God brought each of us from a different place, Brother Jim. And your testimony, your word of your word of knowledge, your preaching, your song. You can touch somebody that I might that I might never even turn to read. That's what's so beautiful about the body functioning together. We're all different. We all function. My hand can't do what my foot does. And my ear can't talk to my tongue. I know that sounds plum foolishness. But unless we operate and do what God has got for us to do in the body, He can't function properly. And Brother Jim, it's a privilege. It really is. It's an honor. You know, sometimes people say, you know, I will waste my time. They're not wasting my time, Brother Jim. Because this is valuable every single time, Brother. Every time we make a point to do something for God. As if we've already been laid up and then we're laying up treasures whether we realize it or not. Yeah. You may not get a natural payday down here. But they say payday coming one day after a while, Brother Jim. Yeah. Right. If I do what God's got for me to do, then I will. By the help and grace of God, no matter what it costs me, Brother Jim, I'm determined. I'm going to do this. Thing. I'm going to run this race with patience and do all that God's got for me to do because time is running out. Where will we spend eternity? And he's looking for somebody that's faithful. No matter what comes our way, we can't base our religion on, on the things that we face, brother. Because the enemy is out there and he's going to try you. Might as well arm yourself. Because the enemy is facing Yes, he is. But I'll tell you what, I believe God. I know God. Has got some people, Brother Jim, some fire ministers that's going to stand on that front line and not be ashamed, not get weary, not get weary when they start the last page. And Isaiah 40 and 31 says, They that wait upon the Lord shall share. That's a guarantee. Put him first and he shall do. And strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. And they shall run and not be weary. Yes. And they shall walk and not faint. Well, again, that's some powerful scripture about right that. We can read through this thing, y'all read it a thousand times. But until we actually get to the place that we're applying this word to our daily walk. It's always going to be just another song. Brother Jim, it's 
always just going to be another scripture. It's always just going to be another Thursday night. It's always just going to be another Thursday night. Another Sunday school. It's always going to be another Sunday day service. But until we get to the point that we're sick and tired of getting pushed around by the devil, it's going to be a repetitive thing. We've got to apply this word of our life. When we come out to the house of God, we should be so serious and see what God's going to do, who God's going to save, who He's going to touch, who He's going to deliver. You've got somebody's spirit right in your hands. Don't sit down and rob somebody. Get on power for God. Let Him use you. Because He wants to do a special work. And He's got the end time work, Brother Jim. And it's going to be a quick work. Are we going to be a part of that? Absolutely. Whether we partake in the part that we're reigning over the enemy and defeating the last enemy, Brother Jim. Or we're partaking of the part where we're being defeated and cast into the lake of fire. But I'm telling you right now, we better make our minds up. And we better make our minds up right now while there's still blood flowing through your veins and you still got a right mind. Because just at a snap of your finger, a blink of an eye, God can get sick and tired, and I believe, Brother Jim, he is getting tired. And people playing around on him and not doing and carrying out the fullness of what he's got for us to do. It's going to come a time. This is trapping the peace. There ain't no such thing. I'm just saying, he's going to cut us off. And I don't want God to become my enemy. No, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the just God. Because he he got a mercy and he's got a love. And he's also a God of wrath. But Jim, I want to do all that God has commissioned me to do. No matter what it costs me, if it costs me my life. I want to give an account for this word. One day. Think about what I said. Hope I said this a little something to help me stir you. You know, sometimes, Brother Jim, we, we ain't always going to be jumping over the building. We're not always going to be running around tearing the house apart. And that right there is the very reason why a lot of churches has got so much poem on the pews in it. Brother Jim, they shout and he ought to be nothing wrong with God. Blasting the music wide open and feeling the pain off the wall and screaming and hooting and hollering. That's part of it. But from the time you walk in the church house to the time you leave, that's all you want to get out of. Sometimes we got to slow down for the team and take in and meditate on this word of God. And let that, let that word take root in the heart. Let that word, let that good seed be planted there. Because yeah. I guarantee Ask the preacher man what he preached about, what, what went on in that service. I don't know, but it was good. Boy, that was tearing it up. That's exactly right. Next week, while hell was tearing you up, if you just sit there and Let's listen to what the preacher had to say, you know, had something in your spirit to turn around on the day. And Brother Jim, I'm going to look what this word's all about. It might not seem like we're getting nothing out of it. But next week when hell's fighting, you pray and meditate and that word just kicks in high gear in your spirit. My God, that's what the message preaches. He warned me that this is coming. Yes. We gotta we gotta get to the place that we can hungry and feast off of this word of God. But I love you. I hope I said a little something to help you. That's what it's all about, encouraging. Kind of build each other up to the place that we can stand. Too much tire down and really cool down. But it's time to build up. Lift each other up, encourage each other. Keep on keeping on for the Lord. Because He's certainly coming again. The next song we get to the song. You need prayer, that's we'll pray with you. He's got what you need. Yes, he does. If you want it, he's 
just sit right there. You can pass them on. God's God. We love you in the Lord. Won't you serve Thank you. 